That, I believe, absolutely, it was a necessary part of Britain's defense policy. I have no doubt whatsoever that the 1983 election um, against the CND, that was a wonderful political experience. I, I'm not going to digress in luck. luck. Uh, I arrived, Margaret made me defense secretary um, in, in the very beginning of 83. The election came some months later. And uh, it was John Knott, who was my predecessor, and he had been obviously and rightly only preoccupied with the thought of the war. And uh, um, so no one really noticed CMD advancing in savings. But the war was won. I became the new Secretary of State, and in came the classic letter from Joan Rudder, the chairman of CMD. Dear Secretary of State, we are immensely flattered in CMD that the Prime Minister has chosen one of her more articulate <laughs> Secretaries of State to defend the uh, deployment of nuclear weapons and all the horrendous threat that poses to the British people and the freedom of the world and the God of God. And uh, we would like to debate with you. You name the place and the time, but we will come and debate with you. Um, the issues, Secretary of State. So, of course, it's the oldest trick in the business. If you can't get a platform of your own, you try to get a platform that somebody else can get. Last half full, last half full. <laughs> Cases 
we won the 7th free election on the 8th free election. Michael Foote as leader of the Labour Party. The defence issue was right up the top and we gained huge from the mob on the street approach.